So, welcome everybody to the fourth edition of our dinner on Rouge. Amazon is officially out of any red apparel and or accessories here in Alabama, Ohio. One of these days, they're going to call and say, what the heck is going on there? My name is Brian Gary, and I'm on the board here with Love and Legacy Foundation, and I drew the short straw. So, you're stuck with me. And I, as I look at this room, there's over 140 people who just by your presence here tonight are made to serve. You're here supporting a great organization, a great foundation, the Love and Likes Foundation. We're very, very appreciative of that. And I know many of you, and so I know even well beyond your presence tonight, you are truly made to serve. But, you know, this, this entity started after the fire, and we've kind of talked about that, and we've, we've, we've moved past that. The fire is in our rearview mirror, and we've got some, some things that we're trying to do here in, in, in Love. And our mission is to leave a legacy of love, right? And we do that by connecting resources to need. Resources to need. So as a group, we're finding resources, and we're also finding need. And as many of you know, there's a lot of it in our community. Um, the group, as I mentioned, that stood before our board, very passionate, very intentional, intentional about making this community a better version of itself. I'd like Sue Peterson to stand up, please. And uh, we can have a round of applause. Sue and Pam have uh, chairman this year. And she had a lot of help, and so if you were on the dinner on the Rouge Committee, could you please stand up for a round of applause as well? I want to give a quick plug to our sponsors, right? Because we wouldn't be here without the generosity of a lot of local level businesses. So in the theory, excuse me, sticking with the theme of red, we've got a Garnett sponsor, Kenwood Dealer Group. Thank you very much to the Kenwood Dealer Group. Our Terra sponsors, Fiber Seal, and Activate Brain and Body. And our Rouge sponsors, uh, the Bush Ray Shea Insurance Agency, as well as the Quilter uh, Studio of Loveland. Sponsors and they're seeing them around. We've got folks uh, that have contributed uh, meals and, and signage and what have you. So it, it's, uh, it takes a village, as somebody said once. Miss Maggie Fetter is a, life, a lifetime lover, that's fair, right? Lifetime. And um, not only is she a great recipient, but she's a hell of a pastry chef. And, um, and this is coming from a guy who's type 1 diabetic, right? So if I can try it, anybody can try it. Um, we were fortunate to get connected in the last couple of months or so. And uh, Maddie was kind enough to, to donate, uh, well, excuse me, not donate. She spent hours in the kitchen doing all of our pastries for tonight, all the cupcakes. Um, <laughs> And, and, and man, has got some challenges, right? And, and I'm, I'm not going to go into, you know, how about 15 to 20 office visits with doctors weekly? Those kind of challenges. But the few times that I've spent with her and her mom, this is Heather and Lance, mom and dad, the few times I've spent with Maddie, nothing but smiles, nothing but how can I help? And so, um, we're pleased to have somebody here, because usually we do most of our grants at the end of the year. And, and quickly, since our inception, we've done over $105,000 in grants. For a large part of the year. Some of those grants go to causes, and I'm going to speak in a second about Maddie's cause, and then some go to what Steve referred to in the video. Stuff happens. COVID happened, a tornado blew through this area happened, financial problems happened, 
And Love and Legacy has been there through all of your generous support to be able to step in and help out. So Maddie has a dog named Daisy, who I believe has a long way to go in training because I spent a little time with her. I trust you and your professional. Daisy's a golden doodle, and um, she's going through some training to be able to help from a medical alert standpoint so that she could be by Maddie's side all the time and sense that something's happening and Maddie needs some help. So, initially when they set out for this cause, the number was about $10,000. That number is actually closer to $20,000 to have a service dog training. And you're well on your way, but we're happy to help in our small part tonight. Thank you very much. Now the actual important check, right? Martha and I have done this a couple of times. You leave and you're like, holy cow, I didn't give him any money. This is for you.